For today's video, we are going to talk about what is a reference angle. So when we say reference angle, it is a positive acute angle made by the terminal side of an angle and the x-axis. So as you can see, we have a Cartesian coordinate plane. So this will be the x-axis and this will be our y-axis. And we have four quadrants. In quadrant 1, exists between 0 degree and 90 degrees. In quadrant 2, exists between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Quadrant 3 is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. In quadrant 4, it's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Now, how do we find the reference angle in the given quadrant? In quadrant 1, the reference angle is equal to the angle in quadrant 1. That is between 0 degree and 90 degrees. Now, if you have an angle in quadrant 2, it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the angle in quadrant 2. Now, if the angle is in the quadrant 3, it's between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. The reference angle is equal to the angle in quadrant 3 minus 180 degrees. And if the angle is in the quadrant 4, the reference angle is 360 degrees minus the angle in quadrant 4. So these are the information that we're going to use in order for us to find the reference angle. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we have 210 degrees. How do we find the reference angle of 210 degrees? First, let us find the location of 210 degrees. 210 degrees is located in quadrant 3. It's between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. The reference angle in quadrant 3 is the given angle in quadrant 3 minus 180 degrees. So the given angle in quadrant 3, that is 210 degrees. So we have 210 minus 180 degrees. 210 minus 180 degrees, that is 30 degrees. Therefore, the reference angle of 210 degrees is 30 degrees. And this will be our answer. What about number 2? We have 135 degrees. What is the reference angle of 135 degrees? First, let us locate where is 135 degrees degrees. 135 degrees is in quadrant 2. It's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The reference angle in quadrant 2, that is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. So we have 180 degrees minus the given angle, which is 135. So we have 135 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 135 degrees is 45 degrees. Therefore, the reference angle of 135 degrees is 45 degrees. What about number 3? What is the reference angle of 300 degrees? 300 degrees is located in quadrant 4. It's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. The reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. So we have 360 degrees minus the given angle, which is 300. Then 360 degrees minus 300 degrees is 60 degrees. So the reference angle of 300 degrees is 60 degrees. So this will be our answer. What about number 4? Go ahead and find the reference angle in number 4. 70 degrees is located in quadrant 1. 
the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the given angle in quadrant 1. So therefore, if we have the given angle in quadrant 1, the given angle is 70 degrees. So therefore, our reference angle is also 70 degrees. On the second set of example, as you can see from example numbers 5 to 8, all the given angles is greater than 360 degrees. How do we find the reference angle if the given angle is greater than 360 degrees? For example, if we have 460 degrees, 460 degrees is greater than 360 degrees. If the given angle is greater than 360 degrees, let us subtract by 360 degrees. So if you have 460 degrees, let us subtract by 360. 460 minus 360 is 100 degrees. Therefore, 460 degrees and 100 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. 460 and 100 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And if we have a reference angle 180 minus the given angle in quadrant 2, we'll, we're going to have 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. Therefore, 180 minus 100 is 80 degrees. So the reference angle of 460 degrees is 80 degrees. What about number 6? We have 425 degrees. So again, let us subtract 425 by 360 because it is greater than 360. So 425 degrees minus 360 degrees. 425 degrees minus 360 degrees is 65 degrees. 65 degrees and 425 degrees is located in quadrant 1. And the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the given angle in quadrant 1. If we have 65 degrees in quadrant 1, therefore the reference angle is 65 degrees. 425 degrees, the reference angle is 65 degrees. So this will be our answer. What about number 7? If we have 750 degrees, what are we going to do in order for us to find the reference angle? Take note that 2 multiplied by 360 degrees is 720 degrees. So therefore, we are going to subtract 750 degrees minus 720 degrees, that is 30 degrees. And 750 degrees and 30 degrees is located in quadrant 1. And the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the angle in quadrant 1. If you have 30 degrees in quadrant 1, therefore, the reference angle of 750 degrees is 30 degrees. So this will be the answer. What about number 8? We have 920 degrees. Always remember, 2 multiplied by 360 is 720. And 3 times 360 is 1080. So to find the reference angle of 920 degrees, let us subtract 920 degrees minus 720 because 2 times 360 is 720 and 920 degrees is not greater than 1080. That's why to find the reference angle of 920 degrees, let us subtract by 720. So 920 degrees minus 720 degrees 
is 200 degrees. Therefore, 200 degrees and 920 degrees is located in quadrant 3. And the reference angle in quadrant 3 is the given angle in quadrant 3 minus 180 degrees. The given angle is 920 same as 200 degrees. That is 200 degrees minus 180 degrees. The reference angle of 920 degrees is 20. That is the difference of 200 and 180. So this will be our answer. What about the set of examples from 9 to 12? As you can see in number 9, we have negative 200 degrees. So how do we find the reference angle if the given angle is a negative? Always remember, when we say reference angle, it is a positive acute angle. So our goal is to make negative 200 degrees into positive. So to do that, let us add negative 200 degrees plus 360 degrees. So negative 200 degrees plus 360 degrees is 160 degrees. 200, negative 200 degrees and 160 degrees lie on the same quadrant. It is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. So if we have 180 minus the angle in quadrant 2, which is 160 degrees, therefore, 180 minus 160, the reference angle of negative 200 degrees is positive 20 degrees. So this will be the answer. What about number 10? We have negative 250 degrees. So to make this angle as positive, let us add negative 250 degrees plus 360 degrees. So negative 250 degrees plus 360 degrees is 110 degrees. It is also located in quadrant 2. It's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The reference angle in quadrant 2 is 100 80 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. If we have 180 minus the given angle, which is 110, 180 minus 110 degrees, the reference angle of negative 250 degrees is 70 degrees. On number 11, number 11 is negative 400 degrees. It is also a negative number. At the same time, it is greater than negative 360 degrees. What are we going to do to find the reference angle of negative 400 degrees? Always remember, if we have 2 times 360, that is 720. If we are going to add 360 degrees on negative 400, the result is also is still negative. But if we are going to add negative 400, degrees plus 720 degrees the result is positive therefore negative 400 degrees plus 720 degrees that is 300 positive 320 degrees 320 degrees and negative 400 degrees is located in quadrant 4 the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. If you have 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4, which is 320, therefore, the reference angle of negative 400 degrees is 40 degrees. So this would be the answer. What about number 12? We have negative 800 degrees. If we have 2 times 360, that is 720. If you add negative 800 plus 720, the result is also negative. But if you have 2 
or 3 rather, times 360, that is 1,080. If you add negative 800 degrees plus 1,080, the sum is positive. Therefore, negative 800 degrees plus 1,080 degrees, that is 280 degrees. 280 degrees is located in quadrant 4. It's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. If you have 360 degrees minus the given angle which is 280 Therefore, 360 minus 280 is 80 degrees. So the reference angle of negative 800 degrees is 80 degrees. So this will be the answer. What about this set of example? If the given measure is in radian, how do we find the reference angle? So to find the reference angle, we need to convert radians to degree. So to do that, let us multiply the given radians by 180 degrees over pi. If we have pi over 4, let's multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So let's cancel this one. Therefore, 180 degrees over 4, that is 45 degrees. So therefore, 45 degrees and or pi over 4 is located in quadrant 1. So the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the given angle of quadrant 1, that is 45 degrees. So this will be our answer. What about number 14? 3 pi over 4. To find the reference angle, let us convert first the given radian to degree. So we have 3 pi over 4 times 180 degrees over pi. So let us cancel this one. And we're going to have 3 times 180 degrees over 4. So you have 3. 180 divided by 4 is 45. Therefore, 3 times 45 is 135 degrees. So 3 pi over 4 in degree, that is 135 degrees, it is located in quadrant 2. It's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. So we have 180 minus the given angle is 135. Therefore, the reference angle of 3 pi over 4 is 45 degrees. So this will be the answer. What about number 15? We have 2 pi over 5. So let us convert 2 pi over 5 into degrees. So 2 pi over 5 times 180 degrees over pi. So let us cancel pi. And we have 2 times 180 degrees over 5. 2 or 180 degrees over 5, that is 36. We have now 2 times 36, that is 72 degrees. 72 degrees is located in quadrant 1. Therefore, 2 pi over 5 is in quadrant 1. It's between 0 and 90 degrees. So the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the angle in quadrant 1. Therefore, the reference angle of 2 pi over 5, that is 72 degrees. So this will be the answer. On the last set of example, we are going to find the reference angle if the given measure is in radian and at the same time it is negative. So the first thing that we're going to do is to convert radians to degree. So we have pi over 36 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. So let us cancel this one and we're going to have 180 degrees over 
36. 180 divided by 36 is five, negative 5 degrees. Now, how do we find the reference angle of negative 5 degrees? Always remember, when we are talking about reference angle, it is a positive acute angle made by the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. So in order for us to make this one as positive, let us add 360 degrees. Therefore, negative 5 plus 360 degrees is positive 355 degrees. 355 degrees is located in quadrant 4. It's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. So we have 360 degrees minus 355 degrees. Therefore, the reference angle of negative pi over 36 is 5 degrees. And this, this will be the answer. What about number 17? We have negative pi, 5 pi over 3. So let us convert this one into degrees. We have negative 5 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel this one. We have negative 5 times 180 degrees over 3. 180 divided by 3, that is 60. Negative 5 times 60 is negative 300. Since we have negative 300, to make this one as positive, let us add 360 degrees. Negative 300 degrees plus 360 degrees is 60 degrees. And 60 degrees is located in quadrant 1 between 0 degree and 90 degrees. The reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the given angle in quadrant 1, which is 60 degrees. Therefore, the reference angle of negative 5 pi over 3 is 60 degrees. On the last example, we have negative 5 pi over 18. So let's convert this one into degrees. Negative 5 pi over 18 times 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel. And negative 5 times 180 degrees over 18. So 180 degrees divided by 18 is 10. 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. So to make this one as positive, let us add 360 degrees. Therefore, negative 50 plus 360 degrees is positive 310 degrees. Positive 310 degrees is located in quadrant 4. It's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. So we have 360 degrees minus 310. 360 degrees minus 310 degrees is 50 degrees. So therefore, the reference angle of negative pi pi over 18 is 50 degrees. So I hope you learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.